Moving on to the eighth question. If 3 cot a is equal to 4, check whether 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a or not. Now moving on to the solution. He has given that 3 cot a is equal to 4 which implies cot a will be equal to 4 by 3. Here he asks us to check whether 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a or not. Now let us consider the left hand side of the equation that is 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a which will be equal to 1 minus tan a whole square by 1 plus tan a whole square. Now as the value of cot a is given we know tan a is nothing but the reciprocal of cot a we can write tan a is equal to 1 by cot a which is nothing but the reciprocal of 4 by 3 that is 3 by 4 that we, now 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a will be equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 whole square by 1 plus 3 by 4 whole square which is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 whole square is 9 by 16 divided by 1 plus 9 by 16 which is equal to 16 minus 9 by 16 divided by 16 plus 9 by 16 by simplification 16 16 in the denominator will get cancelled which will be equal to 16 minus 9 is 7 and 16 plus 9 is 25 therefore we got the value of LHS as 7 by 25 let us also find the value of RHS that is nothing but cos square a minus sin square a in order to find the value of cos square a minus sin square a let us initially find the value of sin a and cos a from the given relation that tan a is equal to 3 by 4 if tan a is equal to 3 by 4 that is nothing but opposite side by adjacent side let us consider a triangle right angle triangle with base angle as a and here now opposite side in a simple ratio will be 3 and adjacent side in a simple ratio will be 4 in order to find sin a and cos a we have to find the hypotenuse let it be as z we know that from Pythagoras theorem square of hypotenuse that is nothing but z square will be equal to sum of squares of the other two sides that is nothing but 3 square plus 4 square which is equal to 9 plus 16 that is equal to 25 and thereby we get z as root of 25 which is nothing but 5 therefore we got z as 5 now here we get cos a is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse that is z which is equal to adjacent side for angle a is 4 by hypotenuse here z that is 5 and we also get the value of sin a as opposite side by hypotenuse which is nothing but z that is equal to 3 by 5 he asked us to find the value of cos square a minus sin square a in the right hand side that will be equal to 4 by 5 whole square minus 3 by 5 whole square that is equal to 4 square by 5 square that is 16 by 25 minus 3 square by 5 square that is 9 by 25 which is equal to 16 minus 9 by 25 
that is nothing but 7 by 25 here we got LHS equal to RHS that is nothing but 1 minus tan square A by 1 plus tan square A is equal to cos square A minus sin square A is true Moving on to the question number 9. In triangle ABC, right angle at B, if tan A is equal to 1 by root 3, find the value of sin A cos C plus cos A sin C and cos A cos C minus sin A sin C. Now, moving on to the solution. He has given a triangle ABC which is right angled at B and he has given the relation of tangent of an angle A that is tan A is equal to 1 by root 3 in the first question he asked to find a value of sin A cos C plus cos A sin C and in the second sum he asked us to find cos A cos C minus sin A sin C here, in order to find the solution of two bits, we have to find the values of sin A, cos A, sin C and cos C. Now, in order to find the values of sin A, sin, sin A, sin C and cos A, cos C, we have to know the relation between sides AB, BC and AC. So, as we given that tan A is equal to 1 by root 3, we know that tangent of an angle is equal to the ratio of its opposite side by adjacent side which here will be equal to the opposite side for angle A is BC by adjacent side of an angle here is AB. So BC by AB here will be equal to 1 by root 3 that is in the simplest ratio we can write BC is equal to 1 and AB is equal to root 3 now in order to find the values of sin A cos C and cos A sin C we also must find the value of hypotenuse that is AC from Pythagoras theorem we can write hypotenuse square AC square will be equal to sum of squares of other two sides that is BC square plus AB square which implies AC square is equal to BC square that is 1 square plus AB square which is nothing but root 3 whole square that will be equal to 1 plus root 3 whole square is 3 that is equal to 4 which implies AC will be square root of 4 that is nothing but 2 so here let us find the value of sin A which is nothing but the opposite side by hypotenuse that is BC by AC which will be equal to BC is 1 by AC is 2 and let us also find the value of cos A which is nothing but the adjacent side by hypotenuse that is AB by AC which is equal to root 3 by 2 now consider angle C and let us find the values of cos C and sin C now cos C will be equal to adjacent side that is BC by hypotenuse that is AC which is equal to BC is 1 and AC is 2 and let us also find the value of sin C which is equal to the opposite side AB by adjacent by hypotenuse that is AC which is equal to root 3 by 2 so now here we got the values of cos C sin C and cos A sin A so we can solve the first problem that is 
साइन ए कॉसी प्लस कॉस ए साइन सी विच इज इक्वल टू वी गॉट साइन ए एस वन बाई टू इन टू वी गॉट कॉस सी एस वन बाई टू प्लस वी गॉट कॉस ए एस रूट थ्री बाई टू एंड वी गॉट साइन सी एस रूट थ्री बाई टू विच इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू इंटू वन बाई टू इज वन बाई टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस रूट थ्री बाई टू इंटू रूट थ्री बाई टू इज रूट थ्री बाई टू होल स्क्वायर विच इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू होल स्क्वायर इज वन बाई फोर प्लस रूट थ्री बाई टू होल स्क्वायर इज थ्री बाई फोर विच इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर प्लस थ्री बाई फोर इज फोर बाई फोर विच इज नथिंग बट वन नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू अकेंड बीट He asked us to find the value of cos a cos c minus sin a sin c. We got the value of cos a as root three by two into the value of cos c is one by two minus the value of sin a we got it as one by two into we got the value of sin c as root 3 by 2 which is equal to root 3 by 4 minus root 3 by 4 which is nothing but 